when I start cooking, usually I become happy. So this is my Zen space. So I'm going to start cooking a very special dish for you. It's kokova. If you do speak French, kokova just means chicken or cock in braised in red wine. Okay, so let's start. First, we need some butter. So I've got some chicken here, two chickens that have been quartered. And I'm going to dust them with some corn flour. Bit of salt. Give them a nice massage. I removed the skin from the chicken. You can do that for cocova. And you can hear the butter sputtering. You know, there's nothing like butter for frying or sauteing. The aromas that come from the butter is just wonderful. Now these are cooking on medium heat. We don't want to burn the chicken. We want it to cook gently so that it, it remains tender. I'm going to prepare some mushrooms to add to the stew. This, uh, these are brown mushrooms. Uh, these are the traditional mushrooms that go into kokova. So remember, when you're cooking mushrooms, never wash them in water. They'll absorb the water and it won't cook properly. If you want to clean them, just use a paper towel and clean them. That should suffice. I'm not going to cut them too fine because when you cook them down in the stew, they disintegrate. Uh, I don't want them to, you know, be part of the soup. I want some texture. You know, cooking is a very zen experience for me. It's like meditation. Um, so when I'm filming, the meditation's a bit off. But you know, I try to be as zen as possible because I have to be perfectly aware of what's going on. Like, I'm, I'm slicing mushrooms, I've got chicken that I have to watch out for. So I have to be perfectly aware that the chicken is cooking, it's on the fire and it may burn. So I've got to pay attention to that as well. So let's look at the chicken. Now back to the cutting. Cooking, as in life, is about multitasking. So I live with two wonderful women. One, my wife, and uh, of course, my daughter. And you know, I'm a, I'm a very one-track mind kind of guy, and I can't multitask very well. And uh, that's the thing. So sometimes I tend to neglect things and people, but that's life for you. Fortunately, in cooking, I can multitask. Otherwise, there'll be a big problem. Now to mince some garlic. So the chicken's nicely brown. We're on to the next step. We're melting down the butter and, and in goes the onions. So this needs to really cook down. Nothing tastes better than bacon cooked in butter and onions. Here we go. Garlic, when fried correctly, is a magic ingredient. So you've got to brown that garlic, but not burn it. And I'm going to add some of the champignon. Um, in French, mushrooms. This might seem like a lot of mushrooms right now, but um, they're gonna sweat and they're gonna shrink significantly. Let these ingredients sweat down. Use my grinder and grind some fresh black peppercorns. So here's a tip. Whenever you need to use peppercorns, grind them fresh. Multitasking. The mushrooms have cooked down nicely. The chicken goes in. So, kokova is a provincial or rustic French dish. And I, you know, using my imagination, I like to do that when I'm cooking. I like to imagine where it was originally cooked and who cooked it. Right? This would have been cooked 
possibly on a farm or a stately manor, you know, for a provincial lord. And uh, it will be cooked in a huge cast iron pot like this. Some black pepper, freshly ground. Don't worry, the black pepper is not hot. You know, not when you've cooked it, when it's cooking in the stew for an hour or so. I'm going to add in the va. There you go. This is the famous relish 24 hour lamb stock and it goes straight in. Look at that. Love it. And we are almost done. We're going to pop this into an oven and let it cook for about an hour. Wow! Voila! Uh -oh. Yummy, look at that! I'm going to enjoy this cocova. Push! It's really nice. Mm. Mm. 